Congratulations, you've made it to Annex 1, PEP's red flags, or indicators. In this section, we're going to talk about how to determine if a customer is a PEP, how you can use FATF red flags to detect misuse of the financial systems by PEPs, and how to better understand how these red flags are really just complementary to the usual ML red flags a reporting entity may already be using. By the way, this lesson includes a quiz, so stay focused so that you can ace it. Let's get started, shall we? The determination that a customer is a PEP is not an aim in itself, but forms part of the process that enables financial institutions and DNFBPs to assess the different types of higher risks related to PEPs. Determining that a customer is a PEP does not absolve financial institutions and DNFBPs of further ongoing due diligence specifically tailored to the fact that the customer is a PEP. Being a PEP does not prejudge a link to criminal activities or equate to being a criminal and or subsequent abuse of the financial system. Similarly, the fact that a person is a domestic or international organization PEP does not automatically imply that he or she poses a higher risk. Financial institutions and DNFBPs need nevertheless to be aware of the risks that a PEP may abuse the financial system to launder illicit proceeds and financial institutions and DNFBPs need to be aware of the red flags or indicators that can be used to detect such abuse. The FATF has developed a collection of red flags or indicators that can be used to assist in the detection of misuse of the financial systems by PEPs during a customer relationship. This list of red flags is relevant to detect those PEPs that abuse the financial system and does not intend to stigmatize all PEPs. Often, matching one or more of these red flags may only raise the risk of doing business with a customer, and several red flags may need to be met to create a suspicion. However, in some cases, and depending on the specific circumstances, matching just one or more of these red flags will directly lead to a ML Suspicion 14, also known as Indicators of Suspicion. These PEP red flags are not an exhaustive list and are complementary to the usual ML red flags that a reporting entity may be using. The methods of those PEPs that engage in illicit activities change, and therefore indicators of their activity will do so as well. Also, there may be be other red flags that should be considered as equally important in a particular country or region. Now, let's see what you can remember from this lesson. 